Hey, welcome to Music View TV, Cairns. I'm Alita. We're here at the Ellie Beach Festival of Music and today the pleasure is all mine because we have one of the most iconic rock bands of Australia on the show today. It is Spy versus Spy. Hey guys, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. hello. Good to have you. Great to have you. Cliff, Great to be here. what are you going to do for us? I can't wait. We're going to do an old favourite. It's still very apt. It's all about the money and it's called credit cards. All right, you guys, I know this is going to go off. Take it away. Yes.
All I can say is holy shit. Oh, far out. That was epic. That was epic. <laughs> if anybody wasn't awake, they are now. Oh, my God. Where's Dean running off to? He's got to get water. Oh, Cliff. Oh, man. Look, honestly, I've got to say, founding member of Spy vs. Spy, you, um, you've just brought the music back. It's back again. It's We've had so the break. Good. So where, good, such a good feeling. Oh, it's amazing. Now, obviously, you formed back in 1981. Of course, I was just rocking to all that stuff back in the day as well. And always creating songs with a social message, talking about stuff that's the crap that's going on in the world and things that shouldn't be going on, but you're yeah. bringing it to the attention of everyone. You're one of those few bands that did that. Yeah. And the thing is that it's kind of scary because those songs are still... Nothing changed. Nothing's changed at all. That's it's right. just gotten worse. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> that's a new, new song title. It's gotten worse. Nothing's changed. Well, oh. maybe we'll go with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some good lyrics there. So we're writing new songs. There's yeah. going to be a new Spies album because yeah. this is the new Spies. We're one year album. old. One year the old. Spies is only one year old. Wow. Now, you talk of a legacy that goes back 40 For years. 40 years, yeah. Well, but this band like... is one year old. I've got to keep reminding people. <laughs> yeah. Right? I know. And oh. the songs are a lot older and there's yeah. shared memory amongst many people. People, of course, yeah. And it always is actually about Michael, who passed away last year. Yeah. And yeah. That, that was the catalyst for the birth of this band. But he had actually gotten back with you and you guys had actually started to say, we're going to get this happening again. Yeah. And then obviously he got sick and passed away. It must have pretty devastating. It was because we yeah. just made the plans. Yeah. Yeah, he'd been to Brazil 16 years in a row. Wow. Every Christmas, a new lineup, many drummers, many guitarists, uh, bass players, rip, lineups changed. Yeah. This lineup's constant. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be me and these guys or no one. All right. You better intro, <laughs> <laughs> you better intro these guys to Yeah, me. well, this, these are my mates. Andrew Davis Hello. Hello. and Dino Reynolds Hello. and Cam Hallman oh my God. <laughs> and basically Davo, Dino and Camo are the new spies from Newey. We all come from Newey. And you can, all, you can add O on the end of all their names so they're <laughs> yeah, totally Aussie. We come from Newey. <laughs> and all from Newcastle and of course it's an area where I grew up down as well and it's Newcastle itself, iconic town for like rock. It just was the place, so many... Awesome bands have come out of that Well, place. Craig and Michael actually met at Nelson Bay High School. So Newcastle was the beginning and the birthplace of the, the spies. Until I met them in Glebe, I was squatting for, in this old <laughs> squat in Glebe. And that was the home of spies. And without that house, that was our first big break. Yeah. No yeah. rent. No so <laughs> we, we put all the time, we had to, no jobs, no families, all the time to writing songs which is where all this music come from. Yeah, yeah, of course. And, uh, yeah, that devotion and that determination then yeah. uh, has a bit of a time capsule because it's, it's still alive. It's still alive. Yeah. And so how did you meet Dean and how did you meet these all these guys? Well, how did this come about? there's a man present somewhere, Mr Marcus Wright. Of the Wickham ah, Park Hotel. He's hiding over the back And he, he runs uh, the Big Apache... Uh, productions and basically the Wicko Hotel, oh, in, in, the where Wico. it's a Very bit of a, a home yeah. home gig now. Yeah. Which was our it was our squat really, wasn't it? Yeah. That's how we all sort of met. <laughs> That's kind right. of. That was the beginning of Voodoo <laughs> Express, <laughs> which, the which was me was and, and the these guys. Valley, and no Cam way. joined the band. Uh, on the, the encore, the last gig was Michael. Yeah. We were supporting the Radiators at Warner's Bay. Oh yeah, the Radiators. It was there. a sold out night, oh, yeah. packed, and. Um, when we come to the on we had uh, Dean and me, and we had Michael and Mike's bass player Neil. Yep. Uh, and when it come to encore, we had Cam come on and play the last couple of tunes. So the, basically, there was this band without Andrew. Yeah. Uh, with Mike. I was yeah. ringing. And uh. <laughs> he's done amazing things to learn. <laughs> some of the yeah. things that Mike could do. And Mike yeah. Because Mike had his Andrew's own style. And Mike, and Mike actually. Shows Andrew too. Yeah, because he heard uh, Dino was at our gig and he, and he could hear Voodoo Express playing a Spy vs. Spy song. Yeah. And he held the phone up and said, listen to this, Mike. <laughs> and Mike heard this Voodoo through the phone and he went, yeah, he could hear Andrew playing his guitar and Dino singing the words and he said, that's it, you know, <laughs> they're the band. So that kind of was his blessing to like, yeah, yeah I want these guys Holy and I want you to Holy. keep this music going and then create more new music, which you're doing as well. Yep. Yeah, yeah, really we have to go forwards because yeah. uh, we have a huge songbook, like yeah, I say, yeah. and all those songs are great and people have a lot of memories. But we're building new memories now. Of course. And last night was so special. Yeah. Meet my old mates from Yossi Indy. Yeah, yeah. I, I go back a long time with, with Stewie, band. the original bass player for the band. Mm. 
and a lot of people don't get it, but he's the white fella that holds the black fella band together. <laughs> <laughs> And he's been there from the start. Yeah, yeah. And, and I said to him, it's like the same for me. You're the old geezer with the yeah. new guys. I got the same thing, you know. And uh, it, was a, it was a blast from the past. Yeah. And it actually brought home the fact that the music is actually the vehicle for change. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And if the music actually reflects real life, it's not about a production, a marketing or a, a, a pop music, yeah, which is yeah. all good. No, we're, we're an album band too, and we sing yeah. albums yeah. Uh, with songs that are actually about real life. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's what the Yothi Indy brought home to me last night. I got blessed by the tribal uh, elders the welcome to country wow. when I was in the band room. And when I walked out, I realised where I was. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's really, actually really something special. the nation yeah. needs to know. The treaty now mm. is the same situation yeah. we had in the 50s when they took everyone off the land. Yeah. It's only a few years back, just before we were born. Yeah. And it's still the same. And the thing that is important about that, like I grew up with listening to all these amazing, iconic Australian rock bands and, and who inspired me as well, like you guys, the Oils, of course, and all that, who actually were writing these songs about social issues with a message. It wasn't just, you know, hey, yeah, we're going to go and have fun in the back of the car or whatever. It was stuff that was like... Um, but with a hard edge, a hard hitting edge, which really brought it home, and the message brought the message home, and to see you guys still doing it now, to go, wow, this is just so relevant even now. It's just amazing. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. Sadly, it's, it's in there. some ways, that nothing has changed. Probably more but so, actually. Yeah, but to um, to talk about like the new music, um, what are you working on? If you've got uh, album coming out, what's what's happening? Well, we're collecting. Uh, Ideas. We have a lot of ideas, and uh, we have one new song that we've actually put into the show. Yep. Uh, but there's several others. We just need to actually sit down and get the time to produce the uh, demos, yep. which we have our own rehearsal room in Newcastle. Great. Our friend Billy, and he's also part of our family because it's actually a family. This band. <laughs> yeah. It's built on a heartfelt <laughs> thing. Yeah. It's not about making a buck. It's not about <laughs> climbing a ladder or anything. It's actually. Would you want to do it? Yeah. That's basically what it's well, all about. I was talking to Dean before and he was saying that the reason that he was kind of like, wow, when you asked him to join the band, um, to this, this actual band, he was sort of like, oh, wow. I mean, it's like, no, you're the one that has the heart, has the soul that can yeah. bring those songs out, out to the forefront with those vocals and everything like that. And it has to be about that. Yeah, because yeah. we were at a point in time where Andrews goes away to New Zealand all the time. And Dean was working and the other bass player, Jed, he had other bands yeah. and the whole thing was a bit volatile. So he was sort of been travelling to Indonesia and stuff and he didn't know what he was, where the future was. And yeah. I just said to him, we need you. Yeah. We can't do it. <laughs> this he is the future. This oh, I love you. <laughs> oh, man hugs. Yeah. And that's oh, kind of like where, where we're at. Yeah. We're just... We're just uh, lovey-dovey family yeah. so, and we have fun. We have and you know fun. what all these it is just um rocking keeping it going keeping it real telling it like it is yeah and yeah. help i just real. i'm real. just it's like so real. stoked that this is all happening again yeah and more music yeah, it's more fantastic music. All right, well, we're probably going to wrap this up. I could talk for the next hour to you guys, seriously, <laughs> you. but Thanks everyone so else much. will be going, no, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I've got to say, you know, it's been a real treat for us to have you guys on the show and we really appreciate that you came Thank down you. here, took the time to come down on a no Sunday morning and, yeah, yeah, it was a big and night, absolutely yeah. rock the hell out of the place. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, neighbours. <neighbor. laughs> yeah, welcome. All right. Bye. Thanks, guys, and, Thank and you. all the best Thank for the, for the yes. future and the next... Thank you. Yeah, all the yeah. show's coming up. Big, got to say a huge thanks to the Studio Hutch, to the Mirage with Sundays, and of course, Early Beach Festival of Music. Yes. Thank you, Early Beach Festival. <laughs> Woo. Yes. Catch us next time on Music View TV Cans. <laughs>